Our verse today is Luke chapter 14, verse 13. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Jesus noticed how people invited to a party were taking places of honor. Their action prompted Jesus to tell the people how they ought to behave when invited to a wedding feast. They should humble themselves and take backstage until they are invited to take higher positions. Having made this point, Jesus addressed an important issue about inviting people to one's party. It is normal and in the right place to invite friends, loved ones and worthy people to one's party because they can support us and give an invitation in return. But in our verse, Jesus says, When you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame and the blind because they cannot invite you in turn or have the ability to repay you. What is the background to this statement of Jesus? These categories of people, the poor, crippled, lame and blind, were considered social outcasts in the Jewish community and all came under the umbrella of the poor. The Jewish community also ascribed some sinful behavior to their condition. If you read John chapter 9 verse 2, and it is to such as these people that Jesus came to minister. If you read Luke chapter 4, 18 to 19. So Jesus made that statement to unveil two aspects of the Old Testament that people might have forgotten, a command in the law and the mission of the Messiah. In the book of Deuteronomy, the law says, If among you one of your brothers should become poor in any of your towns within your land that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not harden your heart or shut your hand against your poor brother, but you shall open your hand to him and lend him sufficient for his need, whatever it may be. Deuteronomy 15, 7-8. See also how the people lived this commandment out in Nehemiah and Esther. Nehemiah 8, 10 to 12, and Esther 20, 20 to 22. The poor should never be forgotten, and fellow Israelites must not harden their hearts towards the poor. But because the people consistently forgot the poor, the mission of the Messiah would be directed at the poor. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. Isaiah 61, 1 to 2, and Luke 4, 18 to 19. Jesus, the Messiah, comes to fulfill this mission of alleviating the sufferings and pains of the poor. Jesus, being the one inviting us to the feast, tells us the category of people he has come for, those who cannot give back anything in return. What can we give to Jesus for all his love and care? Nothing. Therefore, he wants us to learn from him as his followers. Reach out to those who cannot repay us, who cannot repay our kindness and generosity. It is delightful to see people celebrate their birthdays in prisons or orphanages or with poor people who cannot return their gestures. We need more of that gesture in our world today, a world torn apart by gaps between the rich and the poor. It is more pertinent now as we face global economic hardships. Let us reach out to those who need our help, especially when we can lend a hand of fellowship to them. Lord, give us the spirit of generosity towards those less privileged than us. Amen. God bless you. Have a lovely day.